Hello everyone, my name is Vlad, I'm from Shell Software Inc. In this video I'm going to show you my own implementation of latent action button for Android, licensed under Apache license version 2.0. As you may know, latent action button is used in material design. However, you will not find it neither in Android SDK nor in app compat library. When I decided to implement this button I thought about many ways of customization. As a result I've got a completely customizable button. You can change its color, image, customize shadow, add stroke and also use simple animations out of the box. What really perfect indeed is the minimum required SDK version is 9. This means that you can use this library starting from Android Gingerbread. So let's start. The button which you see now on the screen is not customized at all. This is what you got when you declare the button inside XML Razor so create its object programmatically. By default it has light gray color in normal state and dark gray color in pressed one. You can see it now while I'm clicking it. Also the button has shadow by default with uh, default parameters and doesn't have any image. Of course all these parameters are fully adjustable either in XML or so programmatically. Basically floating action button has two types, default and mini. The only difference between them is the size. Default button type has the size of 56 density independent pixels, while the mini has 40. You may see the difference now while I'm switching between them. This is the mini one in normal state and this is the mini in press state. Let's go back to the default type. Let's talk about colors. Material design gives us new palette and I added all of the 500 colors for the normal state and all of the 900 colors in the press state. Here you can see all of them. I will show you all of them one by one. Uh, currently the default color is choose which is actually light gray color. It is not part of the material design. It is just the default color. Like this one, the pressed the dark color, dark gray color, it is also the default one. So here we have red color, pink, purple, and so on. Palette is really very beautiful and exciting. And I think uh, in combination with the main application colors like color, color primary and accent color, you can achieve a very impressive result. So deep orange, brown, gray, blue and of course black and white. Let's choose the red one, this is my favorite. Um, I also added the default plus icon in order to show you how the image is actually placed inside the button, let's enable it. Whatever image you choose, uh, it will be resized to fit uh, the material design guidelines. Actually the size of the image uh, vertically and horizontally are 24 density independent pixels. Uh, the most interesting part of the button is its shadow. It wasn't so trivial to add the shadow on the high level, so I decided to use 2D drawing, which in turn makes native calls. The result impressed me very much. I added three ways of shadow configuration. The first one is the radius. In order to show you uh, how it works, firstly I will set the offset to zero. So when I change the shadow radius, when I increase it you can see now how the shadow increases around the button. You can also turn the shadow off simply setting the radius to zero or calling the remove shadow method. Uh, the other two ways of modifying is the x-axis offset and y-axis offset. Offset actually allow you to uh, move your shadow whatever you want, for example by the x-axis or by y-axis. You can see it now how it is moving. In a combination with radius you can achieve a very interesting results.
like this one. And of course you can change the shadow color. So next let's add the stroke. Let's disable shadow to see how we can add the stroke. Uh, actually you can uh, use it in combination but for our purposes in order to show you how it uh, really looks like I will disable the shadow. So stroke can be modified in two ways the color and the width. Any color can be used for stroke like out of the box material color or another one. For this demo I prepared only three colors cyan, gray and teal. Width is specified in density independent pixels in a combination with light button color and not very thick stroke you can create a very beautiful button. So let's choose for example light green color and teal stroke. As you can see these buttons looks like a very beautiful. And the last one animation. I added several simple animations which can be played while showing or hiding the button. These are fade in, fade out, scale in, scale out and other ones. Let me show you. Um, fade in and fade out. Scale in and scale down. Rolling from right and to right. The same to down and from down and jumping. So that's all for this demo, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions send me your mail to com.software.shell at gmail.com or write me on github. Have a nice day, bye.